Black Ops 4 is the latest game in the Call of Duty franchise. A while ago there was an open beta for the game. At first I thought it would be a waste of time but, like this video. <clears throat> but I gave it a shot. And I will be totally honest here, I did not expect it to turn out this way. I was very surprised and I thought to myself, why the f do they keep making the same dumb piece of motherfucking ass garbage trash of dead franchise fucking not specifically in that order. First of all, the performance was terrible. I put everything on low and I could just barely aim. In-game FPS counter was staying above 50 frames per second most of the times, but I can assure you that it did not feel like 50 frames per second. It was more of a 25 or even 30 frames per second. It could be that it's just my CPU bottlenecking my system a bit, since at this point of time it is pretty old. I do have a GTX 1060 as my GPU, so I don't think that could cause much trouble. So maybe I'm just unlucky, I guess. Anyway, how was the gameplay, you may ask? Well, it was alright. It felt like any other Call of Duty up to this point. In Create a Class option, we have an addition of burn cards, which allowed you to sort of morph the loadout. For example, one card would allow you to have an additional perk, so in total you would have four perks instead of three. Other than that, there is nothing special or nothing too horrible. You have just different guns and different heroes you can play with. These heroes have pretty interesting gadgets to battle with. Basically, everyone has two abilities. The weaker one, which the cooldown is shorter, and the ultimate, or at least I like to call it that. The ultimates, as you can imagine, are very strong abilities that are supposed to be used at the right time to turn the tide of war in your team's favor to establish victory. Or you can use it on one enemy and then proceed to die immediately. There is a healthy variety of these heroes, if you can call 9 heroes a healthy variety. So everyone can pick their favorite. I don't really want to mention every single ability and hero because that would just take a long time. So, for example, I'd like to play as this guy, which his uh, weaker ability was some kind of, I think it was like an orb or something, that was emitting fire or radiation, I'm not sure, and everyone in your vicinity burned, even through walls, so that was pretty cool. And his ultimate was a flamethrower, but yeah, that, that was just an example. Movement-wise, we have no double jumping, no jetpack gliding or wall riding in this one, in any shape or form, at least, that I could see. You can also vault or climb taller walls, which is a nice quality of life feature, and you can also swim and dive as well. In the water you can actually find fish, but I don't think they bother with any revolutionary earth-shattering polar cap melting solar system annihilatory cross cosmic oblivion crushing fish AI. Also I found a pretty blue crab on the beach. Oh shit! Says they're going live. It's crap. Is he gonna lead me to an easter egg? Oh my god, could you imagine? Oh f there you go, there he is. Hello, crab. He was really kawaii desune. Map-wise, uh, again, nothing special. Some of them were a bit dull, but I remember one that was really colorful and vibrant. I like that one. It also had fish. And a crab. And last but not least, sound design. I have never heard anyone say this. Granted, I don't watch many reviewers and such. But the gun sounds are horrible. For me, the guns sound almost exactly the same since Call of Duty Ghosts back in 2013. I don't know how to put it or how to explain it. The sounds almost sound like they have too much treble, I guess, or maybe bass. Imagine if your head was underwater. Everything sounds super muffled or damp. And that is how the guns in Call of Duty sound to me. But obviously a bit clearer than if you had your head underwater and you heard gun sounds. Hopefully you understand because, like I mentioned, I really can't explain how I feel about the guns. That all aside, it wasn't too terrible. It has its ups and downs, probably mostly downs, but hey. At the end of it all, it is just another Call of Duty. What can I say? Nothing special, nothing revolutionary, it's just the same, but with different textures and 
story. Oh wait, yeah, they're not doing single player, are they? 